Like Land Rover and the Red Cross, um, I've worked in some of the most remote environments around the world, and so when I was asked to take part in this joint training exercise, I jumped at the opportunity. The team here at the Red Cross have to be ready for any eventuality, and I think the idea of this training exercise is that I'm going to help them. There was a crashed mountain biker that was lost somewhere in the forest. OK. What are we doing? So we're going to respond to a uh, mountain bike accident. So put on the blue light and the sirens, then drive fast but safe. On this training exercise, I was going to be driving the Discovery Emergency Response Vehicle. It's a Land Rover Discovery that the Special Vehicles Operations Team have customised for the Red Cross. The vehicle is absolutely packed full of loads of high-tech equipment. It's got multiple radio systems, it's got satellite communications, it's got a drone which has got thermal imaging. Um, you can actually push on the screen and tell the exact GPS location of, uh, of where you're touching. It's um, a phenomenal piece of equipment. It's uh, now a bit of rougher terrain, so we should change now the terrain response uh, to rock mode and to low drive. I think it was very evident why they've chosen this discovery for this modified vehicle because it means that it can get over all of the terrain necessary to get to the casualty. I mean, even though it was an exercise, I couldn't help but get caught up in the emotion, trying to get there as fast as possible. My hands were sweating and I needed to get deep in the forest before I could deploy the drone. And that wasn't even doing it for real. That was just an exercise. I can't imagine what it must be like actually doing that for real. I will show you now how the firmer imaging camera is working. I've had to be evacuated by uh, the emergency services, so I'm, I fully understand how valuable these response teams are. In terms of expedition vehicles, this is one of the coolest bits of kit I've ever seen. I was given the responsibility of the thermal imaging camera. I think I managed to pull it off in the end, but I wouldn't have done it without Marcus's help. Radio room, radio room, over. Radio room. We've located the missing mountain bike. Uh... The moment when the thermal imaging camera actually locked onto the casualty was utterly exhilarating. I just started buzzing because because it showed that the bit of kit was doing exactly what it was designed to do. For me, it's been so exciting to see the collaboration between Land Rover and the Red Cross. I mean, this vehicle has been designed specifically for the jobs that the uh, Red Cross need to do out here, and it does that job extraordinarily well. <laughs>